next vlog of our East Coast trip takes us to Knobles. And Flying Turns, which is where I'm at right now, is apparently not open very often. But it is supposedly gonna open today. And we are looking at rain again, so hope I can get on this before it inevitably does rain and therefore closes the ride down. Because I've heard this is a rare credit, so it'd be cool to get on this. I'd also see how Phoenix and Twister hold up some of the other woodies I've done. So I think we got I think noon to eight today. So not a ton of time here, but we'll have to make the most of it. So let's go and have a good day. See? about this one not because of the out of control factor but i'm worried this thing is going to be rough in 2019 i rode my first ever bobsled coaster which is la vibora at six flags over texas and i thought it was rough and not enjoyable and i'm worried this ride will be similar to that so i'm not saying it will be but at the same time i'm a little skeptical so i would like to get front row see how smooth this ride is but i don't know what'll happen if, i don't know if they're assigning seats or whatnot but i sure hope not because that would be horrible if i at least got the middle row because that'd be bad so Let's help I get front and get a smoother ride. flying turns first try and I'm not a huge fan of this ride I think part of the problem is I was able to get the front but then actually got the second row instead because of weight and that was dead center of the train so it was so boring it didn't really do anything I saw that the front went way higher on the curves in the middle did and I was like this is so boring I got like no enjoyment out of it so I would like to try and get front later but I feel like it's just like the draw to be honest but what ride should not be disappointing is Phoenix which I'm heading to right now and I have high expectations for this one. Everyone says this is like some of the best airtime out there on any wooden coaster and just in general. Like, I mean, that's hauling. Look at that. I mean, I don't know if it was it hauling or not, but it was awesome. So I want to do a couple laps on this since I'm right here.
Road Phoenix and I was expecting a ride better than Screamin' Eagle because I've heard from several people that Phoenix is some of the best airtime of any one coaster and Screamin' Eagle is a coaster that got, that got me being, being an enthusiast and both are made by PTC. So the burning question, do I like Phoenix more than Screamin' Eagle? I don't know about that, but if not, that's definitely because of sentimental value there. In terms of uh, airtime, Phoenix kills Screamin' Eagle, but I don't know, I feel like I might like Screamin' Eagle more just because of sentimental retails. However, I can totally understand why you'd have Phoenix over it, which, I mean, I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but Phoenix is definitely not better than uh, Phantom for Fence, that's for sure. And uh, that Twisted one, which that's what I'm allowed for now. Uh, I don't know if I like uh, Phoenix more than Wildcats, Revenge, or Storm Runner or not. I haven't decided that far, but yeah, Phoenix, I was really impressed by. Just rode Twister and I thought it was solid. I would still take Phoenix over it though for best ride here. But then again, I've only done one ride on each and I want to try and get at least one more on both of them. But now I'm gonna go take a ride on Impulse, which you can kind of see over there behind the tree. Uh, not exactly Girls Like Your I think it's a Zero Tower Coaster if I remember correctly. And this will be my first time riding one of these. So I'm gonna see what this thing is all about. And uh, looks like a solid ride, so let's go try it. Just rode Impulse and I don't know what was up with those restraints on that ride. I saw them and I'm like, what are those restraints? Those were a little uncomfortable on the legs. Uh, kind of reminded me of a little bit of sky rushes, which I don't think it's a good thing. But other than that, the layout was uh, solid, quite intense. Special on this uh, ending helix, uh, vertical was intense, drop was good. Overall, it was a solid ride. I do want to try and get a Zen ride on this one though, which I'll probably try that later, but this looks like a super photogenic ride, so I'll make a super footage of it. <laughs>
gonna ride Phoenix for a second time because I've only ridden that one since now. And I'm gonna try in the back of the train because I did the front row last time. So let's try the back out, see how it compares to the front. So I've heard from some people that this is a back row coaster. Now, will I think that? I'm not sure. So let's go find out and see if that's the case or not. Turns are probably gonna be close for the day now. So that's a wonder. But Phoenix just did a back row. That was way better than the front. I was uh, laughing my head off on the return run. But I will say there was one turn, it was way out before the return run, I think it was, and the line was so strong that I actually slammed my head into the side of the train because it like I jolted over so much that I wasn't realizing it. So yeah, not the best experience there. But still, Phoenix was awesome in the back of the train. Black Diamond Mining Company. And that was another whatever for me. I thought it was a weaker version of Blazing Fury and Fire in the Hole. And the main reason why is because the drops, they were kind of braked. So it wasn't very good, I guess you could say. I mean, it was a decent ref what it was, but I don't see myself rewriting this song. Well, definitely not rewriting it this trip. Maybe next time we'll give it another go, but I don't know. But it was whatever, I guess. So now I'm gonna go get some more shots of uh, Phoenix and whatnot from the area alongside the mine way over the so let's head over that way.
the past hour and a half, two hours or so, I did their mini golf course and also played some fascination in that parlor. And I'm actually just coming off of a win on my last game, so that's pretty cool. And I have not ridden Cosmos Curves yet, and since we got less than an hour until the park closes now, I'm gonna go over and get that credit and then maybe get another round on Twister. on Cosmos curves there. That was solid. And I think that's what was cool. Obviously went around the time, so if I counted as three rides. Overall, it was a solid kitty coaster. Got a back seat on it because front was not available. But I feel like the back would have been better anyway. That was actually some decent air time I was getting on that. Don't recall air time ever being that strong on a kitty coaster. So since we got about uh, 20 minutes or so until the park closes, I want to go ride Twister again. Because I've only ridden that one once and I would like to ride it a second time. So. Let's go head that direction and take another spin on that. And if time allows, do one more on Phoenix. of Twister was good. I think it was a little better than the front, maybe because the drops hit a bit better back there, even though I accidentally stapled myself. I didn't find that took away from the ride. Yeah, I'll try and get to Phoenix for one more ride. <laughs> Definitely made a wrong turn somewhere in trying to get to Phoenix. I ended up over near Impulse, which I realized that is not the right way to go. And so then I spent like the last couple minutes trying to hurry to Phoenix. I was literally jogging like around the park. I felt like it was going like at least a mile. So yeah, I didn't make it to Phoenix in time, which that's unfortunate, but hey, at least I got a good ride on Twister to end up my night. And I'll review my ride count from today. Uh, actually, I don't know if I need to because I think my ride count for today was uh, three on uh, Cosmos Curves, two on both Phoenix and Twister, and then one on every other coaster here. Overall, Knobles was an awesome park, and I'm so glad that the weather didn't cause any havoc like it did for me at Hershey Park and uh, Kennywood. And if you saw either of those two vlogs, then you know that the weather, at least for part of Hershey, has uh, been causing havoc. So that's really unfortunate that those parks didn't get great weather, but anyways, Kid Nobles did. So before you click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already, and be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video, and be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel and like what you saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to hit 500 subscribers by the end of summer, so I appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell on so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit the park. Be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. As for my next vlog. It is the only park that I have been to on this trip, been to this park in the past, and I'm super excited to get back to this park. That next vlog will be from Six Flags Great Adventure. So I'm so excited to get back there, ride my last US Justice League, and experience Kingdom Ka and El Toro for the first time. So that sounds exciting. What are you waiting for? Be sure to subscribe and to the bell and so you can notify every time I upload a video, like I just said. And thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you later.